I'm a rock guy. You know, I like complicated music. I like proggy sort of stuff. But um, I'm not going to judge someone because they have, a, like, they have an emotional attachment to it. I'll judge them. I will. Oh, yeah. Partially. Well, directly. Well, it, sure, sure, at least. <laughs> I'll call them some butt rock, like rock. Oh, uh, except for butt rock. I'll judge butt rockers. Ex- but, but, but what is butt rock? <laughs> Is oh, Guns N' Roses butt rock? Ooh. Here, you tell me, Ooh. dude. Is this shit right here? Ooh. That's like really emotional. It is emotional. Cheesy as it's cheesy as fuck. It's cheesy as fuck. Also, too, Slash hated that fucking, you know, he hated the whole... Uh, but everything got... else they wrote besides that is even cheesier. Like, it's you know even what? more butt rock. It's even more old school metal. It's even more Which like... album are you talking about, though? Use your illusion. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, appetite. I mean, okay. I'm like appetite. I'm like, yeah, that was like kind of like gritty. And then lies. I mean, like, yeah, patience. Okay, you know, whatever. I mean, that was like a pretty. But Mr. Brownstone. Oh, cheesy wow. song, dude. Cheesy '80s butt rock song. Well, and also it was like it was just cock like rock. a quick. It is cock, but it was all well. Hold on. I mean, that was, kind of, that was a he- hold on. That was a heavy riff. It was a heavy riff. And also, too, I mean, that was like a time. song. And also, too, but the what. The thing that's cliche about that song is it's basically, basically it's just talking about the time on the yeah. Sunset Strip. It's like heroin, cocaine. Okay, you know we're gonna, you know we're gonna, gonna get gonna drunk and do it. We're gonna get drunk, fucking shoot up heroin and fuck bitches. <laughs> that's like okay. That's the Sunset Strip scene in the fucking eighties. Yeah. And then every time I go to the fucking strip now, I fucking hate it. Yeah. I hate the strip now. There was like I, I used to go there all the time in my early twenties, and then like. I was like 26, 27, and I was just like sitting at the rainbow one night, and I'm just like looking around, and it was like burnout, washout, like just like same people, <laughs> like has been, never will be again, and like same people doing the same shit, talking the same shit, I'm like, and then the, there's these kids in their 20s that are like trying to bring back the 80s, you know, the whole G&R era and all yeah. that stuff, and I'm like, this is kind of pathetic, man, like this is lame. You, but you know, here's the problem. I want nothing to do with Here's this. the problem with that, right? Because like even... Modern rock music, whatever that might be. You, you go I, back I can't to even, what is modern let's rock? Let's go back now? to even as far as like the White Stripes, which is how many years ago now? Well, that was like Corn a, or yeah, the Biscuit, 10, which is twenty years ago. Tw- yeah, right. Yeah, like even those songs are still like the same guitars with heavier tone, but the same blues bass riffs. The same. It's all like, pentatonics. I mean, fuck. And all the rhythms, like the Corn and Limp Bizkit use that same bullshit re- two and a half repeat method, where you play a riff and you play it again. And you play it half, like, so the riff, one, you play it once, you play it twice, you play yeah. it half, and then you repeat. That, that like, two and a half repeat thing is, like, everyone who writes a riff for the past 50 years has done that. And it's old, it's done. Like, why not three and a half? Well, I mean, why not well, one well, and a half? I mean, you can you say know? the same thing with pop music right now. You're right. You could say that about a lot of pop music, right? I mean, but, like, I mean that, literally, that's like a pop song. But, like, I can say, I can, I can play this. The in, for four minutes. Actually, you know what? Four minutes is too long for a pop song. Two, two and, and a half, half minutes. minutes. Two minutes and 67 seconds is what used to be on the LP. I'll just play that for two and a half minutes. There's a pop song. I mean, here's the thing. The guitar... G- g- drummers, or, guitar players, bass players, keyboard players. And this is 2018, right? They have all the pedals in the world. Yeah. They have all the computer programs in the world. Yeah. They're afraid to take their guitar plug it through so enough pedals to make it not sound like the same old guitar that our dads used to play, right? And make it sound like a, a modern EDM keyboard, for crying out loud. Just try it, at least. Yeah. And put it in a song, just to see if everyone, anyone likes that. Because obviously that's what everyone listening is listening to. They're listening to rap with, with electronic sounds underneath. So yeah. why not do that with a guitar? No, that's not, that's, that's a no, natural, no, no, man. It's it, everything you've been saying, man. It's like, it's all, it's, it's, it's a real body sound. But it's like, but that's what people are listening to. That's what kids that from 13 years old are listening to. And, and, and your guitar sounds like something their dads were into. So, goodbye. With pop music and all that stuff, it's like they're kind of robbing the listener of um, basically basically getting out of their, you know, their comfort zone. Because with pop music, they just regurgitate things to where, like, this is what people are used to listening to. This is what people are buying. And that's it. Okay. You know, like, everyone's heard that. All right, we're just gonna, you know, tweak it a little bit, change the lyrics, change the melody line a little bit, and then release it with a new singer, whatever, and then 
number one. Okay, because people people want it, like people gravitate towards what they're familiar. I think that the record labels released with pop music is kind of robbing the average listener of what they can really explore and what can actually be done with twelve notes and playing around with modes and playing around with like all. Isn't these... it more efficient that way on the listener? Like the listener gets to hear the ear candy they want as opposed to the the maybe possibly not ear candy that they're not not really interested in. Well. Okay, well... Isn't it more efficient that way? It is efficient, but okay. Aren't, aren't they getting the, the best end result faster that way? I mean, they yeah, they're getting what they want to hear. They, you, basically, you're going to get uh, you're gonna work get, around to the same pop song we have, well, yeah. the same format, the yeah. same payoff chorus, the same... Just faster this way. Like Yeah, they're, I mean, they're getting like you know the same chords over and over again. Right. We're getting the same fucking chords over and over again. And But you, well, you don't you know... I don't, I, actually, I'm sure you remember Rush... They were considered a pop band back in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. But they actually made 5, 4, and 7, 8 accessible to the average listener. You're Think right. about Tom Sawyer. You got a point. You know, a they, strong they, point there. They actually made an odd time signature, signature accessible to the average listener. Maybe back then, the listeners were actually more accepting of new music and something that was a little bit out there to where I think nowadays maybe... We just, they just have to sell, sell, sell. So they're just stuck in this little bubble, and that's what we have to release: pop, electronic, whatever. Boom, you know, make money, gun, you know, done out. But, but you know, it's the point's still there. Like that's, that's technical music, and that was considered pop in the '80s. Hmm. So like, think about it. Like it's it's all about how you present the music and how you advertise and all that stuff. Like so they advertise it as like at the time that was cool. And now is the trend. That and that's the fucking thing where everything is going on. Everything is trendy now. It's all it's like, what are the Kardashians doing? What's the best, you know, clothing line that can be, you know, what's the season? Blah blah. blah. Like what's, you know, it's, now it's you're all caught about, in a loop. You're saying it's how it's advertised. Well, of course it's advertised, and but like, but it's not. Pop not music is advertised wrong with the music itself or the way it's made now. It's how it's advertised. But also, too, but well, also so you're, you're kind of saying it's all of the above, right? It's all of the above. You know, they're, you know, they're, they're reprocessing, you know, garbage shit, you know, regurgitated. But isn't that the same as like when the, when the Beatles came out and they had yes. electric guitars instead of acoustic guitars, mm -hmm. electric bass instead of stand-up bass, mm -hmm. distorted guitar instead of clean guitar. These are all cheats, according to the time. This is, this is, this is why this is the music time, of the yes. devil at the time. This is of why, course. um, you know, this is why this is not real music. This is fake music. This is plastic. It's the Beatles. It's not real. This is their, 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 their an embarrassment to real musicians, right? And jazz musicians would say this well, about the Beatles. But then when jazz came out, previous musicians would say that about jazz musicians. Sure. The big band musicians was before that, right? But when big band but, came but, out, like, that big, was the big, oh, big band is still jazz at the same time. If you really listen to it, yeah. it's like it's. I mean, it's like you know a lot. So it's of... like it's like you're saying what you're saying now is is not a strong argument because you're saying that it's not real music. Well, and and that the, some thirteen year old kid who actually does like it, and this is changing how this is influenced how he listens or he or she listens to music forever. Yeah. 